Oh, there's a crab. Get it. Get that crab right there. Oh, cool. That is a giant calico crab. This is an incredible bait. Right for cobia. Let me, let me wash them off. This is like... That's like one of the best baits for cobia in the world. Ah! And they will bite you, and they can actually reach to their back. I just found that out. Whew. I'm awake. Well, we gotta beat these other guys that are gonna try to fish our spots. We came, we saw, almost lost a finger. That was actually the hardest I've ever been bit by a... I forgot, you're supposed to break their, uh, their pinchers off. Or use them for bait. But, but I guarantee you I will not forget to take his pinchers off next time. That was a one-on-one -on -one life experience. One-on-one -on -one life experience of what not to do. Obviously I haven't had my nails done in a while, but uh, I'm gonna keep on moving, see what else we can find. We're off to a good start. Very good start. It's gonna be fun. So you know why all these fish are here right now? The more water is, the more bait, the more fish. It washes all the scent of all that stuff, so they come in to feed. It's like the crazy buffet. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that snook. Did you see that? Croaker, mangrove snapper. What else do you see? Sergeant majors. Are you back to mine? Spin like this. You know what that does? What? It scares everybody away because they think we're crazy and they won't fish here. See the people on the beach, they're looking, they're like, they're doing some type of ritual. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Man, tell you what. I was kind of a little bit tired and groggy. Now I feel like I did a extra shot of El Crabbo. Might see the other part of my finger out there. All right, we got up really early this morning and uh, there's been a lot of seaweed blown up on the beach. So we're just gonna have fun and see what we can catch in the seaweed. We're looking for either sargasm fish or sargasm crab or sargasm shrimp. Bet you you can't figure out what we're gonna catch. What do you think we're gonna catch? Whatever comes from the so That's what we're gonna do. So get ready, it's gonna be fun. So I take a big scoop like that, and I like to kind of shake it. And then everything crawls down the bottom of the net. Hopefully. And then we'll put it in the bucket so we can observe it. What'd you get? So Lauren just took a scoop. Let's see what she finds. I'm gonna take a scoop. If you're wondering why we're going so fast, it's because Lauren and I are having a little in-house competition that I'm about to win. Getting good? All right, she got another crab. Let's do it again. There's a nice chunk of seaweed out here. This never gets old. You just come out here, scoop it up. Everybody thinks there's the seaweed that there's not a lot of stuff in it, but I mean, look, look at all the stuff we're finding. You just dump it out, shake it a little bit, sift through it. Look, there's a little crab. Ah! See that little guy. Finding good. We well, got another shrimp. And the reason these are called sargasm crabs is they camouflage. Look at that. 
Look at how perfect it camouflages in with the sargas. That is cool. And then we gotta put that in there. And then a lot of times when you see the birds and they're flying up and down the beach and they're, they're picking up the seaweed and, and, and shaking it and dropping it, this is what they're doing. We're basically imitating what the birds do to find the, the food. We're not gonna eat it, but I guess we could. This, we know this. Big crab. Whoop, whoop. One point for you. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that one. Look at how camouflaged that is. How sick is that? If you were to take this and cast it out in the sand out there, a big jack or tarpon or snook or anything, we were snorkeling earlier when we first got here and there's a ton of snook and all types of stuff. That's why everything's here. We've got all this bait. It's just it's like a giant chum bag come up and down the beach. And every time a wave comes, it slushes and the stuff comes back out. I mean, look at all that goodness. Woo! Yep, yeah, yeah. Here, little crabby! Yep, 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 yep. Here, little crabby! Here, crabby! Here, little crab! Here, little crab! Here, little crab! All right. And check through there, please. This is my. Checking your baggage. Yep. Do what you can find. How cool is this? I mean, it's just non stop action. You can sit here and do this all day. Here's another one. Look at that little crab. How cool is that? That is the giant sargasm crab. That's probably one of the bigger ones you're going to find. Lauren, do me a favor, put this in the bucket so it doesn't bite me. Because my luck with crabs day is not good. What is this? This is seafood bisque. Right? Yep. Here we go. See what you can find in there. When in doubt, shake it out. Look at that one over there. It's like red. That is cool. Look at that. That thing is super camouflaged. I'm gonna let him go in here. You're just gonna. See that? That's called a sargasm fish. See how it looks like the seaweed? Really camouflaged. Throughout time, its uh, side fins actually have turned into little hands. I don't know if you can see their fingers. He is so awesome. What a beautiful fish. So yesterday we watched the news and they said, don't go to the beach, there's tons of seaweed, there's, you know, it's killing all the wildlife. When we hear there's tons of seaweed, we go to the beach. I mean, as you can see, there's no shortage of wildlife. In, in an hour and a half, two hours, we caught all this stuff and had fun. So. What I recommend is when you come to Florida and you hear these warnings, go to them. Bring a dip net, a bucket, and see what you can find. And it's just that easy. You just scoop up the seaweed, shake it out, put it in, observe it, and then let it go.